Hey guys, so I've seen a lot of Korean um, corn dog recipes online and I really wanted to try it out myself. So I grabbed some frankfurters, I just cut them in half. These are chicken frankfurters and I'm now skewering them onto some, um, what do you call them again? Cocktail sticks? So yeah, I'm pushing <laughs> half of the, uh, the sausage onto the stick and I'm just leaving some room at the end because I'm gonna add some mozzarella as well to make them nice and cheesy. So as you can see, I've got a nice block of mozzarella that I picked up from the grocery store and I'm just gonna cut it into some bite-sized chunks to basically stick them on the end of the, the stick. And hopefully, because um, I've seen a lot of people sort of pull them apart and they're really nice and cheesy and stretchy and that's what I was going for. So yeah, just sticking them onto the stick and then we're gonna get on with the batter. So once I'd skewered all of the um, cheese onto the sticks, I went ahead and started making my batter. So the batter is really simple. It's basically just all-purpose all flour, some sugar, and just a dash of salt. And you mix that all together. And um, yeah, so what I'm doing first of all is sieving the all-purpose flour. So I'm just making sure that I get out any lumps because we basically don't want a lumpy batter. So I'm just making sure that I take the time to sieve that correctly. And I will put the exact quantities um, down in the description box below, so don't worry about that, guys. So once I've done that, I went ahead and added, I want to say about half a teaspoon of salt, and I also added my sugar. Again, I'll put the exact quantity down below in the description box. Once that was done, I cracked in an egg. and also added my milk. So I'm just using some full fat milk here. And I gave this a good mix. So what I will say guys, is that I think I probably added a little bit too much milk. So I will adjust what I put down in the description box because I think my batter was just slightly too wet. Um, so just keep that in mind if you want to give this recipe a try. But yeah, I'm giving my my mixture a good mix with my, um, my whisk and making sure that I get rid of all the lumps and bumps and that it's as smooth as possible. So now I'm just pouring in the batter into a tall glass because that's going to make it really a lot easier to basically um, make sure that we batter all of our um, corn dogs correctly. So it's much easier if you pour it into a tall glass. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is just grab um, a container that you can pour in your breadcrumbs. So I'm using panko breadcrumbs and I'm just gonna make sure that they're spread out into this, this Pyrex um, so that once I've dipped my corn dog into the batter, I can dip it into the breadcrumbs. Just reconfiguring here to make sure that I try and get everything into the shot and what you're going to want to do is dip the corn dog straight into the batter um, just make sure that you poke it all the way down so that every <laughs> all of the corn dog is inside the batter and then it goes straight in to the panko breadcrumbs And what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you roll it around into the breadcrumbs and basically just make sure that you press the breadcrumbs in and just ensure that, that they're really sort of like sticking on. So I'm just like tossing it about, making sure that every crevice has the breadcrumbs on there and kind of like pressing them in into the corners as well, just to make sure that they're properly coated. And I decided just to basically double dip them just to make sure that they were completely coated. So after they'd gone into the breadcrumbs once, I then put them again into the batter. And 
and then back into the breadcrumbs. And I will say, guys, that this is a little bit of a messy process and your fingers are gonna get coated as well. But yeah, just do it as best as you possibly can. So as you can see, it's all nicely coated now. And I think that's the sort of benefit of doing it twice because you make sure that you get a nice thick coating. And that's the first corn dog done. You're then going to want to get your oil nice and hot. Um, so a good way to check whether your oil is hot is just to put a one of the cocktail sticks in and if it, the oil bubbles, it means that it's ready. So my oil was nice and hot, but make sure that it's not too hot because it, it, it's going to burn and the, um, the cheese is going to seep out. So you, you want the oil to be hot, but not too hot. And then I just did sort of two at a time because I didn't want to overcrowd the pan and I wanted them to cook evenly. So you basically do it for a couple of, you cook them for a couple of minutes on each side, just making sure that each side gets nicely browned. Obviously, if your cheese starts seeping out, you, you know that you need to turn down the oil because that means the oil is too hot. So as you can see, I'm just flipping these over and just making sure that each side gets a nice sort of browning in the oil. Definitely don't get distracted guys because when I was um, doing the next batch, I definitely left them on for too long. So keep an eye on it and make sure that they don't get burned. And I'm kind of just using my fingers here. I do kind of have asbestos fingers, so when I get burned, <laughs> it doesn't hurt that much. But you do be careful and use a glove if you need to because the oil is going to sort of splatter you. And yeah, wouldn't want anybody getting burned. <laughs> So at this point, I thought that it looked like it was ready, so I'm just taking it out of the oil. And yeah, you're just basically gonna fry them up two at a time, and that'll be your corn dogs done. As you can see, I've made the uh, Korean corn dog. They were a bit fiddly and I burnt this one slightly. <laughs> I got a bit distracted and I let the oil get a bit too hot. But to be fair, they don't look too bad for a first attempt. I'm just gonna see how cheesy they actually are. So let's try and pull this one. See if it does that cheesy. Oh, actually it's quite cheesy to be fair. That does look quite nice. Really cheesy. Okay, let's try this. Mm. Do you know what? I actually really like it. With some ketchup and mustard, it would actually taste really good. I'm just gonna, give me one second, I'm gonna grab some ketchup and mustard. Hi guys, so I've just added some ketchup and mustard. I've kind of got a little bit overboard, I think, but I'm just gonna try it and see what it tastes like. That was a big mouthful. <laughs> but I really like how, how crisp it is. Like I would definitely try this out, guys. I quite like it. Let me take another bite. Mm. 
so that's it guys korean corn dogs um if you do try this recipe out let me know what you think and i will see you in my next video